guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing today? Well, I'd like to, not that I'd like to, but I'm going to, whether I'd like to or not, but I actually would like to. <laughs> oh, my openings are always so interesting, right? I don't even know how to do it, but today I want to make some ATCs because I've got some stuff going out and I thought, well, what better way than to make a bunch of ATCs because I haven't done it for a while. And these are some prompt cards. Did you see that? Sad. I made these prompt cards a long time ago. We probably haven't seen these for years, but these are my own made prompt cards that I made out of probably an eight, probably a prompt thing. I don't know, probably at least a jelly plate. I have no idea. I made them a long time ago. And I just put little prompts on the back of them. So let's just get going and see what we can do here. I'm just mixing them up a little bit. Just, but I'm the kind of person, like right now, I want you to know that if I don't like the card I get, I skip it. Because that's just who I am and I don't care. But yeah, I keep it in this cute little soap box. So yeah. Um, so let's just get started and see what we get to start with. Probably something I don't want. Add a photo to the page with tape. Uh, a photo to the page with tape. You know what we could do? We could add... A magazine image with washi I think that's fair let's do that so but I'm gonna have to glue it down so let me grab my mag images and we'll go from there so yeah oh boy I can tell what this is gonna be like today we are gonna be making a mail of a hess today so yeah let's just do it let's just do it let's see what we got in here oh we got her her it doesn't really matter how about if I just use something that's like well like just colorful like her and I like her though some of these I don't want to use because and this is pretty that's pretty this is an image and we can use more than one we can use whatever we want and then some of those how's that that's good enough right so add a photo image with some a tape, but we're going to use um, and glue stick mm -hmm. because, um, because, well, because. So I'm tearing up my photo image. Is that okay? Well, it is now because that's what I'm doing. Just saying. Just saying. I'm going to cut them in, tear them up. Okay, we'll just do this, and then I'll just use like this image for because I don't want to cheat too badly. Now I'm feeling all bad. So let's go ahead and just stick her on here. But I want to rip her. I want rough edges. So this is the image we're going to use. A full image. See, I don't cheat completely. Only a little bit. Only a pinch. So how are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. Just got back from my walk and it was good. It was nice out. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoy walking. I enjoy um, being outside in the fresh air, mostly, uh, more than anything, because um, it gets me out. And um, I think my since my back is better, I never want to go there again where my back was, you guys. And I have a feeling it was because I had stopped walking. And um, so just trying to um, keep that back supple. I still have not found a yoga class and I still haven't decided what I want to pay for. We're going to put her upside down because it doesn't matter. What I want to pay for um, um Guys, let's just use that as our image. We, don't, we can use all this if it says something else. That's going to be our image. I haven't decided if I want to pay for... Um, a gym class yet, you guys. I just can't do it. Because I had that three-week thing and I didn't even go. So, really, Dawn? Alright, let's see what's next. We, oh, and tape, 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 tape. Tape, 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 tape. Oh, look at it. It's kind of matchy. Oh, good. It's over, too. Yay. 
I heard someone say the other day that they, they were just now getting down to their first roll of washi. I'm like, whoa, I get down. I use quite, I used to use more washi than, than now, but um, lately I've been using a lot of washi, but you'll see that when you get cards and stuff from me, I'll, I'll use it. So I use a lot of washi because I, I put thank you cards in my, you know, whenever I can. Okay, so let's just cut that. So there, we taped an image. And you guys, when I do these, I do these the way I want to do these. I don't make myself, you know, draw a sunflower. Ugh, really, Dawn? Draw a sunflower. Well, what can I use to draw a sunflower? I can use... I can just draw a little sunflower, right? Doesn't have to be a big sunflower. Let's use this as our sunflower. Okay, so here's a black gel pen. Um, right here. Kind of hard to draw on here. Black gel. I'm gonna use a sharpie. Sorry. I don't have this. I'm in no big hurry, are you? So I don't know how to draw a sunflower. Something like this, right? Didn't, did you guys see that big sunflower by my um, in my walk the other day? Fantastic. You guys, please tell me you weren't expecting a major sunflower because... Uh -uh, not me. Well, I don't even know what this is turning into. I think I went to too many leaves. Uh-oh. I can kind of fix it. <laughs> Is that what a sunflower looks like? I'm lazy. I'm a lazy drawer. Don't expect me to sit here and take an hour. Because that's just not who I am. You guys know that about me, right? Is that a good sunflower? It's not orange or yellow. It says draw, it doesn't say color. There's my sunflower. And I'm, that's it, I'm sticking to it. Here. <laughs> that's it. That's all the girls got. Ta-da! <laughs> all right. Draw all sizes and shapes of stars. No, I don't want to draw anymore. Because I don't have... This is like not easy to draw with. So no. Okay. Draw. No, why am I getting all these drawings? Grab the first thing on your right. Washi tape. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Sticking it here and there and everywhere. Did you see how I whined when it kept asking me to draw? I think I should actually just take those out of there because, mm, girl, I don't like to draw. I like to draw mixed media girls, but I haven't even done that in a while. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. You know what I mean? I need to do that again. I'm going to open up that series again. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm not putting glue underneath these because I have a feeling what's going to happen is um, we're going to be painting over them. Hopefully, someday we're going to get to the paint. Hopefully, someday. All right. What else do we got here? Um, use analogous colors. Analogous? Does that mean colors that are the same? Let's save that one because I'm not sure what that means. Add a bird. We can do that. We can add a bird. Hold on. We've got birds. Hold on. Um, where'd you go? Where did I put it? Hold on, guys. 
hopefully you're playing along with me and it's not a big deal and I'm getting up and doing stuff. There's our bird. Remember our bird? We love this little bird. So let's add this cute, 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 cute little bird. It's adorbs. Let's put it on top of the, or no, let's just put it right there. Ah, see, we added a bird. Ta-da. All right. Actually, I'm going to take this stuff out of here that I didn't use. So, add a photo, we did that. Draw sunflower, we did that. No, we didn't do that. No, we didn't do that. We did that, and we did that. That way I can, you can know exactly what I did. So, paint with red. Yay, we've got red, you guys. We can do that. Let's grab some red. We've got red, we've got red. Right here. Right here, here's some red. And... Here's a paintbrush. Get it wet. I need another thing. So let's just paint with some red. And remember, red is very, this brush is very, like, uh. I got one of those. This, I think, is about ready to go, but you know me. Oop. See? Maybe it wasn't ready to go. Paint with red. Let's paint over the top of those. Oh, there goes Gracie. She's like, what are you doing, Mom? Painting over the... Washi tape. I'm painting our little sunflower. There we go. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Let's paint around the edges. Oh, I haven't had my hand in paint in a while. It seems like forever. Since I think since I jelly plated at that class. Shame on me. What the heck? There we go. There we go. We painted with red. Just a pinch. Dried fast. Boy, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. Okay, put that down there. So we painted with red. That was fun. Next, add glitter or sparkle. Okay, we can do that because I have some. I always have glitter or sparkle, but I'm going to use um, not that glitter, but I'm going to use sparkle. Mm. Oh, you know what I want to use, you guys? Is um is this considered sparkle? Gold Inca? Is that I mean that's shine. Maybe that's not sparkle. That's shine. Alright, we need sparkle. We need sparkle. Hold on. Here's some glitter paint. Let's put this on there. See how careful I am about my painting and my brushes? Like, not at all. Not at all. And then I just toss that if I don't want to wash that, you know what I mean? All right, let's put some sparkler on the edges over the red. I haven't done this in too long, you guys. I didn't even shake this. Shame on me. Shame on me. Whoa. Whoa. -ho -ho. Let's 
so pretty. Just enough. When's the last time you guys did some ATCs? I get them from you, but I don't send them out very much. So now I'm hoping that I can get some sent out. I'm trying to get a few things sent out before my daughter gets here because I don't know when I'm going to be able to um, do that. So I'd like to reciprocate a little bit. If I cancel, so add glitter or sparkle. We just did that. We added a little sparkle. It's kind of sparkly. See? Isn't that pretty? Just a little sparkly. Starting to come around, isn't it? Okay, what do we got now? Add words or quotes. I like that part um, because what I like to do is just take a Sharpie. And I think I should let this dry a second first. And then I'll just go around the page. So let me grab my dryer, which I haven't used for a while. And I'll blow dry this a little bit. So hold on, guys. Let's see if I can pull this over here. Well, that's very red. Celiac disease. I don't have that, but I have a very low tolerance for gluten. But I do have, yeah, I will eat gluten. It's like I'm lactose intolerant, but I'll eat uh, lactose occasionally. Um, but I won't eat it every meal or every day. You know what I mean? I'm very, very careful about, about how much I eat of those two things. Uh, I'm, I'm con very conscious of them. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to write... It said, um, add words or quotes. So I'm going to add words, and I'm just going to write them like like Lauren. And um, Eugene. And love. And peace. Mm -hmm. And um, I was going to write help. <laughs> but so there it is help help and happy happy pp and no yeah, i think that's good so i just wanted to add a few and um those will turn into little pieces of um a background so see i don't make a big deal paint or ink spray Ooh, yay i have that Paint or ink spray. We need trying to use some up here. And like Barb said, I've got this um, tumble dye, and I should have all along been um, had it in another bottle with more paint, more water. So I do plan on doing that. Um, maybe I'll add some water to this one eventually because it's low. So let's see. Oh, that's fine. Paint. And ink, okay, and then let's do it. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's add some ink. What is this? This blue. Empty. I know, I just should check. I want to wash these bottles out and actually keep them, maybe. See if I can. Maybe I'll make, put that over there and try to do that today. What about this one? No, it's dark. What about this one? Ooh, yeah. Same thing. Let's just. Get it out. Look at. Didn't do anything to the paper, but it certainly did something to my thinners. Yeah. And this is a uh, tattered angels, which I'm not real. I don't know even know, know what it does. 
<laughs> Nothing. You know, I have this stuff, but it's just not going to work. What does Tattered Angels do? Does it just add a shine or something? I don't know, but we're going to blow dry that now. I'm going to stick these back in here and probably not deal with them and then pull them out again to use the next time we're doing this. That's how I roll. Okay, let's put that let's blow dry this. It's going to be a while, but that's pretty. I like that. Grab the heat gun. You guys can fast forward if you'd like. It's going to be a while. I might do this a little while and then fast forward myself. Who knows? I haven't done ATCs and I can't remember how long. Oh, good. There goes the nail man. That means... Oh, I wonder if he's got something for me. He stopped. Whatever I have coming, I thought it would come by UPS, but I think it's heavy. I've got something coming for Gracie. He's looking over here. Let's see. I hope he took... Oh, no. It's mine. Wait. No, it's not mine. Good. I would hate to see him pick that up. Because I bought that... Um, so what you guys, I got for Gracie isn't just a covered cat box, because those are plastic and they're a dime a dozen. But what I got her was a, a cabinet. Oh, maybe it is because it looks heavy. Poor guy. Oh, yeah, it's it. It's here. I'm going to go say goodbye. I mean, hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. So anyway, it did come, and it was Gracie's thing. And I said, oh, my gosh, I'm sorry. I thought that was supposed to come through the, through the UPS. He goes, uh, I wish it would have. <laughs> it's very heavy. So I am so sorry that happened to him. I'm getting some drip downs here, you guys, a little bit. Um, just to get, I might even just turn this over and let it, um, let it go. But let's just do this for a second. So a bit, first off, let me explain what I bought. So Gracie, the, you can get a covered cat box anywhere. I can't believe we're talking to cat, about cat boxes. Welcome to my world. Anyway, um, so, uh, I got her a cabinet so she can actually walk inside. It's like a little, it's all wood. So she can walk in and it's all, and so you, when you open up the cabinet doors, then the cat box is inside there and then you clean it out and clean that out so that the, the gravel and all the kitty litter isn't all over your house. It's inside that little tiny house. I just thought that was so cool. So that's what I bought. This is warm. So that's what I bought. And um, that's why he had to bring But he set it inside the door for me. Thank goodness. Which was very nice. Because I would have had to drag it in. Actually, I would have pulled it. I would have opened it up outside and brought it in piece by piece. So that's what I'm going to be working on later. I have been wanting one of those for... I can't tell you how long. Um, just to, to contain the gravel more than anything. Uh, I don't use a cheap cat litter, so it's not, I don't have a smelly issue, at least I don't think so, but any, my friends said, you know, they come over, and my brother's very, oh my gosh, my brother's very picky, and he says, he couldn't even smell it, and he goes, how many cats do you got, and I said, two, and he goes, gosh, I can't even tell, I said, that's because I clean it all the time, and I use tidy cats, and I use tidy cats with no, um, for, uh, I think the stuff that smells good smells worse than anything. So I, I get the kind that has this free of dye and um, uh, smell. It's just totally just the stuff. Okay, paint with ink. I think, I think we can do that. Hold on a second. We're going to use, um, I think these are ink. Ooh, let's try something. Ink tents. I think we're going to use ink tents, you guys. Uh, and we're going to use like a... Like a... Something. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. My goodness, I just don't even ever know where anything is. So I'm going to try to do something with ink tents and use uh, like a brush. ink. I'm not going to probably do a lot, but just a little. So, 
I don't know. And I don't even know how well this is going to work. So let's just see. It probably won't work very well. But, oh, yeah. Not much, though. I'm just trying to. Not very. You can't even see what I'm doing, can you? It's more water. Well, I like it because I just want to put some bits of color here and there. And when this dries, it dries perm. So, you know, I'm not doing much. I can come down a little bit and you can see just how little I am actually doing. I'm just a little bit of paint globs here and there, if you will. Nothing. I don't even know what I'm doing, actually, guys. But... See? Just messy little paint splash here and there. That's not even a very good one here. Oh, sure, Dawn. She has to get her fingers involved. That's how I roll. What's this? I want some dark colors on here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's really good. This is a blue, but it looks black because I went so dark on it. Remember, this is going to get all cut up in little pieces. Messy, messy Marvin. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing later. Putting together that little thing. So I'm good with that. See, some of it still moves because it's um, still wet. But these are ink. When they dry, they dry perm. Love how this is looking. Honestly, I do, I do. Big black spot. If you don't like it, you know, we're going to be laying or laying, layering for a long time. So I'm good with it. Okay, good. I think that's enough ink for now. I don't work on my pencils, although I don't really care. So let's pop this back out. <sighs> oh, wrong way, Don. There we go. And then blow dry some more. Okay. I feel like this gets some little drips going on. That's fine. So we painted with ink. Good drip. Okay, cool. We got to stamp pretty soon. Oh, that's what we could have done. We could have painted with ink. We could have stamped. But hopefully we'll get some stamping down here too. Some more collaging going on. That would be good. That would be great.
When we get done with this, you're not going to recognize it's a Cheerios box, or at least that's the idea. I'm loving these cool weathers, and I'm trying to imagine what it's going to be like in the winter here when it's just um, wet all, for eight months out of the year. Because you guys have noticed, um, hasn't it been really nice here? Like, I came at the perfect time of the year, the, like the perfect time. And um, I wish my daughter would have been here just the last couple of months because I think her wet, her winter is going to get awfully um, long. But I'll send her back to Santa Barbara, hang out, you know, with her dad or whatever. So, so it's not too long. There's a big black bar right there. Okay, so let's get going. Now we've got paint with ink done. Let's see what the next one is. Use a brush with very little paint and dry brush to create texture. Oh, okay. I'm thinking white. What are you guys thinking? White? We haven't gotten any white, so. You know, I have, um, I have a big white. Where is it? Where's the big one? Oh, I just saw it the other day. Right here. This one. Big crap paint. Blanca. Blanc. So let's grab a big brush. Well, this is big enough. And we're going to just dry brush with this. Actually, I'd love to have a bigger one. Um, all about the same. Thumb. Oh. Yeah, they're all about the same size. I brush this. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Look what we found. Look what we found. This is nice. So it, it's really really jacked up. Mm. I shouldn't probably be doing that. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Use a brush with very little paint and dry brush to create texture. Look, we got that. Oh, boy. <coughs> I'm going to do something. I'm going to just shake it up again. And then I'm going to use the cap. <coughs> Excuse me. As my, see, little, this is very little. <coughs> I need to go off. <coughs> there we go, and I'm kind of, I'm doing too much. <coughs> Pardon me. Look at that. <laughs> That's okay. All right, I like it. That looks good. Definitely created some texture, didn't it? Okay, stick that in there. And now, close your eyes and draw. No. Draw circles, lots of circles. I actually like this one, but I always have a hard time Figuring out what I want to draw with. So I'm going to say no. Draw hope. Nope. Add paper. Yep. We can do that. We're going to actually add. Um, did you know me? I love paper. We are going to add. This paper. In little bits of it. Okay. okay. 
Let's let this dry a little bit first. Because the paper will add more texture, like a physical texture instead of a visual texture. So that got my attention. And I'm going to turn it. So keep turning these as you do them. That's kind of key to where you try not to have an upside, to have a right side up or an upside down. I actually would like to go this way right now. I think I will. Just glue that way. Oh, this has got to go over here because otherwise we will get confused. I think I'm going to add, use Mod Podge to add this paper, you guys, because I haven't used any Mod Podge yet. And I love me some Mod Podge. And Mod Podge will add even more texture. So with that, let's add some Mod Podge. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need a clean brush. So I'll use this one. Clean. My brushes are all so janky. Really janky. I'm going to go off the edge there a little bit. Ah, it feels good to be Mod Podging. I haven't Mod Podged in a while. My gosh. What in the world is wrong with me? Ooh, it says his love making. Ooh. So if somebody on um, line, Jane and her cats, said she went and saw um, the movie. Um, the Hollywood movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and said that, yeah, that she agrees that the part with um, Brad Pitt on the roof was just worth its weight in uh, for the worth the price of admission alone. <laughs> so yeah, yes, yes, Siri Bob, I agree. I never thought I had a crush on him until like lately. So, like you know, I'm 59 years old. Come on, really, Don? Like right now? Like now? What's going on? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm finally feeling like, okay, since I don't have a job and I don't have a lot of drama going on, maybe it's time for me to meet somebody. I don't know. Of course, you know, I saw this cute guy in the in the um, post office the other day, and I thought, ooh, he's cute. And uh, I haven't done that. I just don't do that, you guys. I just keep my head down and mind my own business half the time. You know, I'm not big on to... I don't know. I'm just not a big flirt. I guess that's the word. I'm just not. So all of that was kind of weird to me how all of a sudden I'm thinking somebody's cute. Like, really? Why now? I don't understand the whole why now thing. So what are you guys working on? I hope you're working along with me. If I can remember, I will put these in the description box. I'll try to remember to do that. I'll try to keep them in um, order. I think they're in pretty good order already. So, And then once you do them, post them on our Facebook group. So we can all see. It'll be fun. I know Stacy does that and everybody has so much fun doing that. So, yeah. We can do it, too. We got the technology.
more 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 mod podge please thank you oh my goodness did you hear my tummy i'm not hungry i had a vegetarian those morning star veggie burgers are really good and um i had one today and i put it on sprouted bread with a little bit of cheese Toasted sprouted bread with some cheese. It was really good. And it keeps you full, you guys. And I hope that when my daughter gets here, I can talk her into liking them. I think she actually does, though. I don't think I'm going to have to talk her into it. I think she actually does. So, yeah. Look at the Cheerio box. It's just melting away slowly but surely. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I might do a, like a, a part one, part two of this because um, we'll just get it to where we want it and cut it into pieces and then come back later and do the ATCs. What do you think of that? I think that's a good idea. I do. I think that's a good idea. It'll give you guys time to get some done. Yeah. Oh, so why I'm cutting these into such small pieces is because ATCs are very small and you don't want to have a whole piece of um, paper covering the whole thing. I mean, that's my that's my understanding about the size. What, what this, I think the size of the, of the ephemera should match the size, oh, there's, excuse me, the size of the, um, the actual art, right? Not like I know what I'm talking about, but kind of, kind of, sort of. So. See how everything's just melting away, melting away. Gosh, this was fun. I haven't done this in so long. What's wrong with me? Well, I guess I have been a little busy, right, guys? Just a pinch. Just a pinch busy. So even as I say that, see where that um, washi tape was? See that right there? That's where the washi tape was. It got buried, didn't it? It got buried. That's the beauty of layering. Just awesome. Now my pieces are probably even a little bigger than they should be, but that's okay. Boss is good. I don't mind. And we're going to keep layering the heck out of this. So, so no worries. No worries. Right now I'm just kind of finding where there's like words kind of, and then just trying to cover it, cover it, um, 
strategically, if you will. You know. So that they don't, they no longer look like words. And, you know, it'll take a while. It'll take a while to get there. More Mod Podge, please. We haven't sat down and done something like this in a long time, you guys. Just saying. We just have not. What in the heck? I miss it. I really do. Very relaxing. So, so very relaxing. How's it looking? Looks good. I don't say it's on myself. Oh, I had a scare today. You know, I had some bad, I had a bad uh, capacitor in my air conditioner. And when I got back from my walk today, I turned my air conditioner on and about 20 minutes later, I'm like, <gasps> it's not working. And you guys, it wasn't working. So I turned it off and turned it back on and messed around with it but now it's working but that was scary i'm thinking oh, great i don't know i think it's still kind of acting kind of weird so but right now my legs are cold and it's like under my table over there so i have this neatest thing in the kitchen i've never had it something like this before it was obviously i have like an island in the kitchen and right off to the side of the island or like right underneath the island coming out where you're, when you're standing at the island it there's an air conditioner vent blowing on your feet is that fancy or what? I think that's super fancy. Fancy. I am fancy now. So, yeah. I just thought that was hilarious. I was like, wow, we fancy. We fancy. From Don Giovanni. Also, I sold some of those music books, and I had one of the people that bought the music book said her husband got a hold of it, and he was like, "Oh my God, these are totally authentic antiques," and he wanted them. She thought he thought he thought that she had bought them for him. So if you're in the, if you're in the house and you hear me saying that, what what exactly in the comments say? What exactly did your husband say? He's like, "Oh, thank you" or something. And she's like, "Um, no." But so, but she let him look at him for a while. I don't know if she ended up giving him to him or not, but because he loves the opera or something. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> He's like, oh, they're for me. She's like, uh, no, they're not. Not not for you, dear. I bought them for me. <laughs> to dare up. He's like, no, you can't do that. That funny. I thought that was so cute. Well, I think that's pretty good, you guys. It's a good, it's a good first step. Except for I'm going to grab this little one right here and go over this word. 
Cheerios right there. Put the word handsome over it. There's another one right there, but we're not. I'm not too worried about it at all. So let me kind of clean my hands off here a little bit. And put that in the water. Put this back up here. Put that back in the well, actually this one did this go with yes. Clean that. Oh my goodness. We're using everything today. Things I haven't used in a long while. Very happy about that. We have quite a ways to go though, you guys. It needs help. <laughs> it needs a lot of help, so. We'll get quite a few ATCs out of here. So I'm gonna be a good girl and have salmon for dinner tonight. It's in the fridge. And some corn maybe, which isn't so good, but I use spray butter on that. I might just use real butter too though. What the heck, you know? I think I'd rather use real butter than a bunch of chemicals. Now see butter is dairy, but I can I'm okay with it, I think. You know, as long as I don't sit I can't have like a big glass of milk or a big bowl of chip cereal um ice cream i usually get the um lactose free ice cream which is really actually good it's just lactose free so not a big deal and um yeah but i have no business eating ice cream anyway right now to be quite honest with you so but my walking is really helping a lot so let's put that ad paper in there and let's trim this off because it's my favorite thing to do even though it's not completely dry. So I love to do this. Very satisfying. For some reason. Okay. It's a off layout. Cute. It's gonna be fun. Getting better already. Okay, so what else? What else do we got? We have draw coffee or teacup. No. Add texture. Well, we just did that, but we can do it again. And we can use um, texture paste. We can use. I know what we're gonna use. We are gonna use some of this. Um, we're gonna put some color into a um, texture paste. Some paint into a texture paste. And then we're going to um, use a um, stencil. So I think what color we're going to do is this yellow right here, because we don't have any yellow on here. And then we're going to put it into a texture paste, which is light molding paste right here. So we're going to use this and this. And I'm going to go grab a stamp stencil. So wherever the heck I put those, because did I leave them? Did I move them? What did I do with my stencils, guys? I think they're still here, yeah. Okay. Just hang out there for a second while I find something to stencil with. Oh, done and done -er. Perfect. So what we're gonna do, getting busy over here, is we're going to um, add texture, and we're going to do it like so. Now, I'm not a pro at this, but let's clean this off. That didn't make much difference, did it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put, this is that cool chalk paint I bought before. And this is, I, I'm glad to be using this, you guys. I'm so glad to be using this right now. So put that there, the glob of that, and then we're going to put this paint in there and brighten it up a little bit. And I did put Vaseline on here before I moved, you guys, to um, make it easier to open. And it worked. It worked beautifully. So, yeah. I don't know how much yellow. doesn't matter. How about that much? That's a lot. We don't care. You're probably going, that's way too much. Now it's going to be all runny. 
we don't care. Yeah, perfect. Perfect in my opinion. Okay. All right, let's add some yellow. Hello, let's add some yellow. I want to use these big ones. Well, no, I'm just going to go like that. And just maybe, yeah, let's just do it. And even if it's like not perfect, girl, now you're speaking my language. Not perfect, even better. And I'm just going to do it here and there and everywhere. Because remember, this is getting to get cut up. Voila. Beautiful. Now let's put it over here. Where is it? What is it? It's the right color to get lost in there, isn't it? Put that right here. Like so. We might have to make some more. We just might have to. Now we gotta let this dry for sure for shizzle. Because that's cool. So I think I'm going to make a little bit more for here and there. So let me do that. That's pretty. Really cool. Okay. I'm going to use my finger. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. Yeah, I'm careful like that. And then we'll just use this again. There we go. Boy, I'm the most careless crafter in the world. Yeah, no. Pretty. Uh-oh, I made too much. You know what that means, don't you? That means we're going to have to... Um, there we go. We're going to have to put some on something else. Unless Yeah, we're gonna have to let this dry over here. And we're gonna have to put some on here or another piece of paper. Oh I know. Hold on. We'll grab one of my jelly prints. That's pretty you guys. Let's grab one of my jelly prints and stick it on there. Stick some on here for a later date. Right? Yeah, waste not, want not. Whoa. <laughs> messy Marvin. You're being so messy. No, I kind of have to be. My nature. When I get rolling like this, why well, I don't take any prisoners. Okay. That's what that looks like. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's pretty, huh? I love this. All right. So there's that. I think what I'm going to have to do now, you guys, is just, let's just wait a minute. I'm going to go wash these off, believe it or not. I is. Because when you use texture paste, you kind of want to. Um, if it was just paint, I wouldn't, but it's texture paste, so I'm gonna. And we will be back in a second. I'll see you in a sec. Oops. Okay, I'm back, and it's almost dry, but I am blow drying it. Some more. Anyway, I think it's turning out pretty good. It's, it's very busy, <laughs> but we've got a long ways to go. Okay, that was add texture. The next is gonna be markers or pins. No. Add gesso. We could add some black gesso on here. Maybe we'll do that. I have some black gesso somewhere, right? Don't I? I don't know where. Um, there it is. Yeah, we can add a little bit of black gesso. Turn this down a little bit. Let's do that. 
and it's dry enough. It's not perfectly dry, but I don't care. So let's grab this gesso right here and add a little bit of this. And I'm only going to do it like, well, it's going to be a wet brush now because this brush is actually wet. So let's do that. Let's just add some of this gesso and we're just going to kind of just do it here and there and everywhere. Shake it up. I don't know what the difference between black gesso and white ge and white gesso is except for the color. And so I would always just use um, um, black paint. Or I guess this is, might be thicker. I don't know. Let's just do that. So what does this say? Add gesso. Then we're adding gesso and we're going to do it this way. You know, just add the... Just like that. I like that. I love this idea. We're going to use it where we can paint, paint out some more of the words. You know what I mean? And Cheerios. Things like that. Maybe a little too much here, but that's okay. pretty dark now isn't it oh well too bad so sad as my mother would say too bad so sad it's just changing you guys it's just an ever-changing um i like it he might be he likes it okay there we go right I'm trying to see if there's any more like obvi Do you see any more obvious Cheerios um, things? I think that looks pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Okay, we're gonna keep that. Keep that like that. know what I'm ever going to do with this paper, but who knows? Okay, so add gesso. We did that. Um, let's see what this is. Draw flowers. No. <sighs> Scrape paint on the page. Yep, we can do that. Anytime there's paint involved, you know I'm down. And I want to put some more sparkle on this page, so I'm going to put more sparkle. More sparkle. And I love to scrape paint, so... This was so much fun hanging out with you guys doing this today. It's been so long. I invite you to do it along with me. And if you don't like anything that I'm pulling, then don't do it. Honestly, just do not do it. I, I just don't. If I don't want to do something in art world, why? Why do it if you don't, if it's not something, you know, forget it. Forget that. Not happening. So scrape paint, huh? What did I say? I was gonna scrape some um some sparkle. Uh, I don't know if I have a lot of sparkle paint left. Let me look over here real quick. I mean, I've got this red sparkle, but there we are on the red again. The gold. I've got this really good good gold. But I'd rather put. Hold on. Metallic, is that sparkle? It is. Oh, look what I found. Purple sparkle. Purple sparkle, you guys. Oh, I think that looks so pretty. Okay, we're gonna scrape some purple sparkle. Let's just, yeah, let's do that. Purple sparkle paint. Scrape paint, and I decided to use sparkle paint. You don't have to. Why did I put it on there and not on the page? I don't know. Ooh. I guess I'm gonna have to put it on here and then scrape it on the page. Let me just, just really good shake first. I never do that until I 
I always put the first one on like really poorly because I forget to do that. Let me see what I'm doing here. Well, let me come down a little bit. I don't know if that'll help at all. There we go. Okay. It's great paint. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on here like so. Just here and here and everywhere. Because it's it's kind of go going into the where the the um, what am I trying to say here into the lines of the texture and it's really cool how it's kind of just doing that but I think that might be enough it's real light right here right cheer it needs more there we go. And hear how textury that really is, right, guys? It's really textury. Pink, purple sparkle. That looks nice. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's try that. See, it's going kind of sinking into where the lines are. The crevices right here. It's kind of outlining the flowers. So that's pretty cool. This is busy. Busy, busy, busy. I could actually do some another thing to tone down the yellow, but what the heck? I don't like it. Let's see what the next one's going to be. Stencil. Do we want to do more stencil? Actually, we do. We're going to stencil on some ink. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to use ink, ink pad to stencil on some um, more black, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, do we have enough black with that, though? Mmm, that's true, too. So maybe we'll stencil on some another color. I think some blue. I think some, like, blue would be really pretty to stencil on here. Let's do that. Let's give this a minute to dry, though. Yeah, I think blue would be pretty. We are all over the rainbow right now, you guys. I'm serious. <laughs> we are in every color you can imagine. It's kind of in that ugly mode right now. But I see potential. I do, I do. I see potential. Sort of. What did I say, blue? Blue. Yeah, I think blue. Or maybe purple. We'll see. May have overdone it slightly with the yellow flowers. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, I think I might have done that. Overdid it a little bit. Just a pinch. <clears throat> All right, so let's that go. Let me go find a stencil, and we're going to do some ink now. It's still not dry. It's still a little sticky. It's okay. Just like a texture. I don't care. There we go. Really thickening up to be really nice. So I'm going to grab a stencil. And, uh, oh, they're right here. This is the one I was just actually thinking about. So, let's just grab this stencil and then some paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with more purple, I think. I think purple is good. And I think we have a metallic purple here, no? Satin acrylic. Oh, yeah, we do have a metallic purple. We're going to use this. Okay. So we're going to do that. So let's grab a, um, one of these. And let's just see if we can make this thing even more busy. Let's shake this up really good before we get started this time. Let's come out. There we go. Cool. 
part, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, if this could be any busier, I don't know what I would do. It's cray cray. This is cray cray, you guys. Super cray cray. Better. <laughs> I don't know if it's better or not. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is this thing is busy. This is one of the busiest I've ever made. Gotta, gotta admit it. Super busy, but I'm liking it. Mm, you know, I'm not loving it yet. Like I said, it's kind of in the ugly phase. That's okay. Kind of, kind of ugly. Movie feel. Movie feel. Remember, somebody else asked for a piece of this. I gotta send it. I forgot. Darn it. If I kept her address. Dang it. Yeah, I think I did. I'm so bad sometimes. I try so hard and I don't do so good. Yeah, this really helped. I really like this. Honestly. This helped. Honest. I think it did. For sure. For shizzle. Here, let me put it. Isn't that better? You guys like really done, you think? <laughs> kind of I do. <laughs> I kind of think so. I really do. I kind of think so. I haven't done this in a long time. I know a lot of people do these pick tens, and but I just don't. I haven't in so long. But it feels really actually kind of nice to do it today with you. So thanks for hanging out with me. I know it's a long process, but it's a fun process. Just give it a chance. Don't don't give up. Don't give up. Just try to make this go oh, one more little corner, and we'll, with the paint that we have here, let's push it harder. Push it, push it real good. There we go. We got it. I think that's great. Wow. <laughs> that is one busy, busy, busy. How many have we used so far? Let me see. We have used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well, and I'm gonna keep going until I like it. So grab the first thing on your left. Really? I got this. Um, no. I also have my ink pens, but I'm not using them. Um, paint just over part or the entire page? No. Oh, take that out of there. Um, open a supply you've never used and use it on the page. That would be a paint color. So let me think of that. That might be a possibility. Let me do this again. paints I have in there that I haven't used before. There's quite a few little ones. There's this blue one. I don't think I've ever used this, have I? Yes. I use this purple. Yeah. How about this red? I've used all those. 
Something green. Yeah, I think so. I don't really have many supplies that I haven't used before. Um. So, I guess I'm going to have to pass on that. I mean, I, ooh, oops, that was bad. <laughs> I have some washi tape that I haven't used before. That almost smells like it was going to burn. <laughs> did you, were you guys watching going, Don, 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 Don? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why did I set that down? Um, I don't know. No. Finger paint. Okay. Deal. And I'm just trying to think of a good color on here. I want to use like a turquoise, but I don't really have a pretty turquoise. Do you, I have, do you have the hardest time finding a turquoise, you guys? Because I do. Like I see them in the store and I think, oh, that's it. I mean, but it's really not. It's not the one I wanted ever, you know? And I just don't have the kind of turquoise that I like. So hold on. Let's look at these. Grab a couple of options. This one or this one, maybe? Ocean Breeze. Boy, these are really going to be weird on here, aren't they? But I really think this is the closest one to the one I like. So let's pick up by this one. Yeah, this is getting weird. <laughs> and we're going to keep going until we absolutely either love it or absolutely really hate it. One of the two, you guys can't. Not sure. Not sure. I think I'm going to the latter, though. Absolutely hate it. Let's just see what we got here. Oh no, that's pretty. That just might have been the ticket, right? Something different. Oh, I love it. Okay, come on. Not so much. I get a little heavy handed. You noticed? I like that though. I like the color. Should have been lighter on it. Like that the whole time. Live and learn. I'm going to have to do this more often because obviously I'm completely out of... Out of... Uh, What do you call it? Practice. For sure. For sure. This is toning down that yellow and I'm not I'm absolutely loving that because of it. I'm gonna come down for you guys a little bit. I don't think you're seeing where did that go? Um, sorry. I sorry, hold on a second. I'm gonna fix this. My bad. There we go. I was looking for that because I was trying to come down. There we go. There we go. Ah! I lost my... I lost my... There we go. I don't mind this color. It's actually a pretty color. that later there you guys I love this I really do I think that blue is really pretty I'm gonna um I love that because that's gonna be on each little card probably I might need a little bit more right here though there we go and um so let's just go ahead that's pretty that pretty? It's got a lot of layers to it. Lots and lots. So this color right here is Ocean Breeze by Craftsmart, and I like it. I actually do like that color. It's pretty. So, okay, so that's a good turquoise. Not hating it. I 
Okay, and then so we finger painted. What's next? Distress. Um, yeah, we could do that. And I would do that by um, roughing it up with a um, fingernail file a little bit. So I might do that. Hold on. I think I will. I could even do it with a uh, uh, sandpaper, but I do have a fingernail pile, and I think that's better for right now. Just gotta let it dry a little bit. These are, it's a very interesting page. Very interesting, if I don't say it's on the slip. Okay, let's grab this fingernail pile, pile. and let's just dis distress a little bit. Kind of like that. Is that like doing very much? I think we're going to have to get the, the big one. I'm going to grab the big one. Hold on, guys. It's not very far, I think. I hope. I think it's over here. Where are you? By the time I get done in here, I'm such a mess. Oh, good. I got a bunch. This is better. Hold on. This is great. The real stuff. The real deal. So we're going to fold it in half. And we are going to stress. Not doing much, though, is it? Oh, there we go. See how it's adding some light? There we go. Boy, that's probably not very pleasant for you. Not doing much, I don't think. I mean, it's kind of roughing it up a little bit. I don't have the patience to sit here and do this all night, though. So I'm only going to do a pinch. See, I like when it looks like that. I'll show you what I mean. Like that. That looks pretty cool. We'll just do a few of those. Not a lot. Like that's about enough. Because this just doesn't lean itself to it, you know? Good enough. <laughs> I'm actually liking this now. We're going to go ahead and leave distress in there because we did it a little bit. Doodle until you fill the entire page. No. Stamps. Stamps. Oh, you know what? We could do a stamp. We're going to do a stamp. Hold on. I got the greatest stamp in the world right now. Perfect stamp. I love this stamp. This stamp is so cool. I picked it up at a thrift store and it's never been used and I fell in love with it. It's huge. Look at that. It's the size of my hand, you guys. It's called Dotted Print. And it's by something design. I have no idea. Sorry. So sorry. But we're going to stamp this on here. And I think that might be it because then that means it's kind of tying the whole thing in. You know what I mean, you guys? I think that'll work. So let's get this out and then we'll cut it up into ATCs, size cards, and then we'll this will just kind of make it kind of yeah that's great do you see it super cool super cool i love this stamp i knew i would i couldn't pass it up it wasn't cheap even at the thrift store it was like five bucks i'm like oh really but i had to have it 
I just had to have it because it's neat looking. I knew I'd love it for this. It's perfect. There we go. Adds a little something, something. These are fun. This was a fun ATC section session. I haven't done it so, so, so long. I keep saying that, but it's really been forever. And then one more, one more slide. Perfect, perfect. I love it. Isn't that great? I think that just kind of finished it right there. So do we put that in there? Stamps. Okay, that was the last one. We should just look and see what the next one is just in case. Paint with a skewer or scratch wet paint with a skewer. That'd be fun, like to add some white sketches to it. But you know what? No, I think this is gonna, we're gonna call this done. And the only thing, oh, I was thinking about going over it with some, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, Mod Podge, but I'm gonna wait until I figure out what I'm actually gonna put on here. So let me go wash my hands and I will be right back and we'll just cut it up into ATC size. And then, um, We'll play with ATCs next time. So hold on, guys. Be right back. Hi, guys. I'm back. Okay, so I already cut these up. Unfortunately, when I cut them up on camera, which is not a big deal. You guys know how to cut up ATCs. They're three and a half by two and a half. And we got 21 ATCs out of this. But I just wanted to show you they turned out really pretty. And I'm really looking forward to playing with these. So, um, yeah. So this is the end of this video. Come back for part two and we will decorate a few of these. Not all of them, obviously, but a few of them. So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. And I'll talk to you really soon. See you on part two. Bye, guys.